It turns out the jobs of the future will be those jobs that cannot be done by artificial intelligence and robots. And there are huge gaps in what a robot can do. Robots have very bad eyesight. They see lines, circles, squares, but they don't understand that these lines, circles, squares make up a face or a chair or a cup. Pattern recognition is one of the big problems. Second, common sense. They don't understand the simplest things about human behavior, about the world. They don't know that water is wet. They don't know that strings can pull, but strings cannot push. So the two jobs that will thrive in the future and the two sets of jobs that will be destroyed are as follows. Among blue-collar jobs, repetitive jobs are going to be wiped out, obliterated. This means jobs in the automobile industry, textile industry that are purely repetitive are in danger. Non-repetitive jobs in blue-collar work will thrive. Garbage men, sanitation people, gardeners, police, construction workers, every job is different. They will survive. In white-collar work, it defies common sense. The people who will be thrown out of work are middlemen, low-level accountants, bookkeepers, agents, tellers, middlemen, the friction of capitalism are going to be obliterated. So who will benefit among white-collar workers? Workers who engage in intellectual capitalism. What is intellectual capitalism? It involves common sense. In other words, creativity, imagination, leadership, analysis, telling a joke, writing a script, writing a book, doing science. Realize that England, said Tony Blair, derives more revenue from rock music, rock music, than it does the coal industry. Because we're making the transition from commodity-based capital like coal to intellectual capital like rock and roll.